Hey everyone, Retromancers here with another pickup video. This time we're going to be showcasing some games donated to us by fan and fellow Let's Player Packle25, along with some bonus extra retro items that we'll talk about later. I don't even know what he's going to present, so let's start with the games. The first one that we've got here is actually the Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and Track Meet Triple Cards. Did yeah. you have this one? No, nah, no, nah, I can only afford the poor man's NES that just had Mario and Duck Hunt. And Duck Hunt. I actually had the same thing because you needed the trackpad for the track meet. Yeah, right? again, it's like everyone else I knew had the trackpad. And played it with their hands? Yes. Yeah. They did. Well, the first few rounds you would try to play legitimately and then it was just like moving, physical activity. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this, outside? I've actually never properly beat Super Mario Brothers. Now, what do you mean by properly beat? Well, I didn't beat it at all. I got to stage, I think, 8-3. It's Trevor's the one that's like right before Bowser's Castle, and for whatever reason, I just couldn't do it as a kid, and I've never corrected that sin. Just gonna have to hand in your gamer's license. I no, think There's still time, there's still time. Oh, you've had... <laughs> like 30 years. It's like your, mu your muscles are already starting to atrophy. Right. It's too, it's too late. That just invalidated like all of your gaming achievements. All ever. my good works. I think you do. <laughs> There's nothing really to say about Duck Hunt, right? Everyone already. Said. Nah, just put the light gun on the TV. That's that's how I played. No, I did it legit. I actually have both the orange and the gray light gun under the bed right here. <laughs> I remember I used to put the power glove on and that and like. The bazooka, the Super Scope 6, and I would just walk around like a freaking Robocop. Like, literally, I did that. Nice. It was cool. Yeah. Super cool. I didn't have any of those peripherals besides the light gun. Falling into hard Nintendo times. I did. I think <laughs> I own like five Nintendo games. On a brighter Mario Brothers note, here is one game that I definitely did beat. Super Mario Brothers 3. The holy grail of Nintendo games, right? The wizard. That was the Cal movie. California. Yes. Yeah. The thing with Mario 3, it everyone had this game and no one would play it. I'm like, I just want to watch you play this game because I don't have it and it's awesome. I just want to be close to you. Right. And every time they're like, nah, I'm not going to play this. Was it because they already beat it and they were done? Probably. Or? It was just like, ah, that's old hat. It's like... Right. Or, or maybe it was because... Aside from RPGs, it's one of the first like long games that people mm -hmm. like in like mass culture would have been playing, right? So maybe right. they just didn't have the patience for a game that would take more than like a half hour. Maybe I, I know I did eventually get it. I think in third grade or so, and the TV I had would cut off everything in the bottom of like so you couldn't quarter see, of the couldn't screen. see what upgrades you had. Yeah, I didn't know what I had. I didn't know what the the P meter was. Still don't know what the P meter is. Oh, uh, power, I guess. Oh. Princess. Does she like to throw shit at you? What about Princess Power? Sure. Pee pee? <laughs> Give me a little pee pee. I think it wasn't until like middle school or high school that I could actually play Mario 3 and it's like. Oh, you're entirety. setting it properly with the Mario. Get out of here. Mario. 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 Whatever. It took me a while to play that game properly. That's. That's the point. That's the point. I'm gonna grab the next one. It's a good one. All right, so here we have infamous Bible Adventures. With awesome manual included. So when I was told you had the manual, I thought they were just going to give you the Bible. <laughs> the King James. Look at this. Is this normal? Like a <laughs> scroll. It's like, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, in, fi in the fifth element, where it's like, someone who can fly this ship and that ship, and all these qualifications. Remember that scene? No, I don't. When they were recruiting Corbin Dallas? Yeah, no. I've seen the film. I've seen it. Okay. Don't worry. I was about well, to divorce you. I'm all over multipass. <laughs> Don't you worry. She knows it's a multipass. It's like... You'll never fold that right. No, I think I actually just did it like savant style. It's perfect. What's the back? Is it text or clear? No, nope, you, uh, you failed. Well, but actually, I've never played any of the... There's like three games on it. There's mm -hmm. like Noah's Ark and... David and Goliath and some other game. They've been kind of done to death, but yeah. still, might be fun for a holiday episode. If it makes sense to throw that game in there, then we'll find a place for it. And last, we got another uh, favorite, King Griffey Jr. Major League Baseball. It's, Is it a favorite? I just remember seeing this all over the place, so I haven't played it much. I can't it's... remember, like, then again, maybe I was like falling yeah. out of sports games at this time. So I guess we'll have to mess around with it and see if it's cool. Is I wonder what this collectible baseball card is. Is it in there? Let's find out. <laughs> nope. No? 
What is this? Pack old, <laughs> gypped on the card. Oh, it gives you like the history when the uh, team was. Show the Cubs losing? Yeah, this has all the uh, expansion teams too Marlins, Rockies. How about them apples? Cool stuff. And now for even cooler stuff. Basically, I was helping spring clean my parents' house and I found this treasure trove of awesome 80s stuff. First thing, which you're gonna recognize right off the bat, what's this? Oh, yeah. Voltron. Voltron, baby. Unfortunately, it's the two line, the red line, which I think was piloted by Lance. But, um, you know, I would have preferred, obviously, to have the black line, which was Keith. Yeah. Right? You form the arms and the legs. Okay. And I'll form the head. Yeah, I the mean, peasants. the peasants. <laughs> Sven. Yeah. Poor Sven. Yeah, it was like next in episode two. But then he came back with like another princess. Wasn't he like a bad guy? No. I don't know. No, I mean, when he came back. But I just know you thought he was like dead or something, right? Right. The yeah. wizard guy, like doing some illusional, you know, attack it's on him. Word. It is now, and then that was it. He was gone. So then the princess took over the blue lion, and you know, the rest is history. Right. This isn't a good lion now. This isn't the diecast metal one. Right. When Voltron was assembled, he was like four feet tall, and you could bludgeon kids to death with him. This doesn't even transform. What is this? I don't know, man. Well, well, no, I think the tail, like, I think it's like, and then, like, no, you know. No, but the head's supposed to bend up, form <laughs> a leg, unless, oh, wait, unless it's the arm? Maybe it's your arm. Yeah, maybe it's the arm, man. Then it wouldn't bend. Yeah, get off my Kool-Aid. So, don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> now like, for something that we hopefully won't have these issues with. <laughs> Tron Light Cycle, man. Nice. Did you ever have one of these? No. It had like a, I don't have it unfortunately, but there's like a zip cord that would go in the back of it. Oh, one of the, the plastic The red loop. thing. Yeah, I don't like, how did you get it in there? You just like fed it in there? Yeah, you would just kind of feed it. I see. Oh, can't really see, but there's a slot here and then you would have that like long tooth. How do you like describe that? Yeah, I guess tooth. And it had the yeah. little like finger loop at the end and rub that shit up and <sighs> did it hold? Straight. No, it would go okay, you know, for like, you know, half the length of the room or something like that. But unfortunately, it does not make right angle turns. No. It just makes perpendicular crashes <laughs> to the wall. <laughs> right. No, I think it's lost its revving ability. Like, you don't feel the centrifugal force. You know how... <laughs> like, I, I'm just thinking of like in high school or whatever, that experiment where you have like the wheel and like you're sitting on the yeah. chair and you're like... <laughs> you know, like makes you spin on like a stool. Yeah, so... Did your physics teacher ever do that? No. You guys? <laughs> Mr. Brunel, my physics teacher, was all about that shit. Yeah. Oh, uh, did this open? Does it? Nice. Oh! Look at this shit. There's no Flynn in there, though. No. Eh, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Now I'm gonna throw out something that you're probably not gonna know what it is. Okay. This thing. You recognize either this or this. I have to zoom in on that. That's the, um, shit. That's the, the Ghostbusters, the other Ghostbusters. That's right, the earlier Ghostbusters. Before. Tracy, the yeah, gorilla. Yeah, the gorilla. Right, which, it was actually like a TV show before the Ghostbusters movies. It was, it was like a camera around the neck, I think. Yeah. Actually, now I'm realizing that's kind of cool because it's kind of like the idea that a picture will capture your soul, mm. kind of like Fatal Frame style. But yeah, it was that show, and then this cartoon was based off of that show. What was it like? Primeval? Yeah, let's say yeah. I think he's like a, the, 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 the per, evil the guy. Was, like, was he like robot ghost? Yeah. <laughs> and suddenly be like, <laughs> he'd start her with like a butt <laughs> voice modulation. Is it as cool as Ganon going wild no. on the uh, Zelda? No, coaster? nothing will touch that. And then he had like that weird creature crony. I'm thinking it was like Bartok from like Anastasia the movie. Was it like something like that? Like a weird like bad creature? I don't know. I think he looked like a wyvern or. Wyvern or Wavern? Wavern, whatever. I've never been clear from, on that. From, you know, the ones in the first Dragon Warrior game, like they had that kind of like empty yes. body. Yes. He kind of looked like that. I just remember they were like psychedelic when they were switching oh. into like Ghostbusters. It was like a Rube mode. Goldberg machine, right? Yeah. Yeah. And they'd get like crushed by like a junkyard, like trash compactor. Yes, you bring it all back to me. Like, wasn't there like, was it like, hey, hey, Ghostbusters, like, go or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then this thing was like this smart ass. Yeah. Oh, it talked? Like I think the car? so. And he's like, ah, you jerks and your nonsense. Yeah, I mean, I used to have the whole buggy car that that, that was like the hood ornament of yeah, it. Yeah, see, and then when it did this, it transformed into flight mode. Uh, oh, dude. Damn, your memory is impeccable. So, yeah. I just remember this guy was like, always, you know, had something sarcastic Some to say. 
crafty quip, like, I hope you guys die this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not crafty, that's just me. <laughs> it looks like it would be a pretty big car. It was, like, it was like that old style buggy, you know, and it was like, like something you'd think of like a early Indiana Jones. It was hat. like, um, yeah. it looked like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or something. Yeah. yeah. Like that. So, well, I guess you've totally proven me wrong of you not recognizing <laughs> <everything>. <laughs> I showed you. <laughs> you blew my memory out of the water. Uh, okay. Moving along. Found this little guy who's some version of a transformer performing some flexibility based auto erotic activity on himself. He doesn't look like a real transformer though. Yeah, this looks like one of those like McDonald's Happy Meal style. Yeah. It, it doesn't have the uh, heat sensor, the hyper color decal. Yeah. Yes. All right, well, while you're trying to transform that guy, <laughs> show you another awesome item I found <laughs> this gun. <laughs> Feeling that? This is the sound of my childhood. I used to play with this freaking thing all the time. Pitch shifting can also turn into annoying as hell police siren mode. It's, I remember there were a lot of like sound effect things that you could buy in like a 7-Eleven that right. would have the same like collection of sounds. Yeah, but I don't know, this thing is just so weird. It's like, it's very like skeletal. I have no idea what it has to do with. So if anybody knows what this is, please let me know. It says 107 on it. And some symbol. Oh yeah, some weird, you're not gonna see it, some weird symbol. Looks like the lightning bolt, like Metroid. Oh, we all oh, like the, the screw, screw attack. attack. Yeah. yeah, a little bit, yeah. All I know is that for whatever reason, this gun is very addictive. You know, I try to put it away, but every once in a while I gotta go there. I just gotta get like a little little taste of it. And just, just a little bit, just a little bit like that. Uh, I think I, one day that's gonna be my undoing. It will be. It's like, I don't know if this is just me being crazy freak or if this is an old thing. Like, you ever like walk by like a stove or something like that that's like just recently been on? You just gotta be like, just gonna like touch it. I see. I've never time. done that. No? Ever. Do I got a psychosis? I think so. All right, so. <laughs> Did you eat batteries out of can? No, I used to lick the nine bolts. Well, hell out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I always thought it tasted like orange juice for unknown reasons. Mm. Does that make any kind of sense? No, but. It's like acidity is like electricity shock. Like there's something, there's something similar in that. Did you go like double nine volt, be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and while pouring orange juice. <laughs> it's like a party. With three hands. Anyway, we're gonna leave that over there. No, see what? <laughs> One day. And finally, I found this smorgasbord of all kinds of weird old comic type stuff. Check, hold it up. Nice. You know what this is, right? He Man. He Man. Squ I guess comics used to be square like this oh, for shit. a second. It's yes. a record. It's a record. Playing in a Fisher Price record player. Boom. For the like 45 or whatever. 45 millimeter or whatever. Yeah. It's cool. But nice. I found like a Gremlins one too. Gremlins, right? So I, I guess this was sort of like a standard for a little while. Like, yeah. Like comics slash records where it would be. Well, that had the cassette. So that's, oh. I guess they kind of upgraded. All right. Yeah, we got some uh, coloring here, but you know. Oh, nice. Did I do a good job? Not bad. It's, you got the uh, the colors are correct, not not in the lines yes. though. So. That's because I like to live outside the lines. <laughs> I mean, look at this full scenery. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome with the vinyl. Yeah, man. Did you ever watch the Dolph Lundgren movie? Yes. The live action movie. Do you, I don't remember much. All I remember is like Skeletor looking crazy cool with his evil staff. Mm. Dolph Lundgren. And then at some point where they like rip out like a like a view quarter or something like that, where they see like the past from the air. Yeah, I don't have seen it, but I don't think in its entirety. Like I've seen, I could piece together the whole movie, but not in one sitting. Also got some weird Dracula comic. Nice, Let's see this. Some He-Man actual comic. And an episode of Sports Illustrated. Uh, Feeling that? Oh yeah. Old school. I don't know why I saved this. <laughs> then people can come up with some theories. I'm gonna save that for later. <laughs> Oh, and finally, oh my god, oh shit, Ready for this, it is the Hulkamania workout chart, boom, I, I remember this, I had these blue sand weights, my headband, my wristbands, Hulkamania, and then he let us all down, all us Hulkamaniacs down when it became Hollywood Hogan, remember that shit, I was pissed, like for real, felt betrayed, I did, I feel like you can track the downfall of America 
through Hulk Hogan's career arc. You know, he was a real American. That was the theme song, right? And then he sold out. He was a sellout, right? When, like, you know, the whole markets were going to shit. And then he became a reality TV guy when we became the reality TV culture. Don't think about that. <laughs> She's like, well, there we go. I'm just, you just show me a picture of Hulk. And I'm like, yeah, Hulk. And I feel like, and America is doomed. <laughs> Just a theory. Could be a sweet sociology paper, something like that. That came with a game. I see what? L I see LJN. Oh, dude, LJN. Oh, it probably came with um that really bad wrestling game. Oh. The guys like move like they got like they just took a dump in their shorts. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. And the pickup. Yeah. They're different. Like they're thematic yeah, they're, icon. They're just, yeah, like Honky Tonk Man would like pick up a guitar. Anyway. So, <laughs> thanks for nothing, Hulk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he'll make it out to me one day. I'm sure he will. <laughs> anyway, I think that should about do it for us this time. And once again, thanks to Packle25 for giving these games to us. Yeah, and if anyone else wants to donate any games, uh, you can feel free to private message us on YouTube, and we'll happily give you a shout-out for doing so. All right, I guess we're good then. Yep, so we'll see you next time on Retromancers. Going in a spaceship, yeah. You should tell your boy for now. <laughs>